Welcome to the Lee County Public Education Center's Veterans Recognition Ceremony. My name is Cadet Kelly Alquist, and I am the school district's JROTC Area Commander from North Fort Myers High School. I'll be the Master of Ceremonies for today's event. I want to recognize the dignitaries with us this morning. School Board Member Kathleen Morgan, School Board Member Mary Fisher, School Board Member Melissa Giovanelli, School Board Member Betsy Vaughn, School Board Member Debbie Jordan, Superintendent Dr. Greg Atkins, the District Chief's Academic Officer, Dr. Jeff Spiro, the District's Chief Finance Officer, Dr. Amy Desmore, our Chief Human Resources Officer, Dr. Angela Pruitt, the District's Chief Information Officer, Mr. Trey Davis, Executive Director, Leadership Development, Mr. Clayton Simmons. This day, which began as Armistice Day, started as a celebration of the peace that followed World War I. In the following years, it's evolved into Veterans Day, a day to honor those who have served and now serve in uniform, as well as those who have died. To commemorate this special occasion, last year we began the Run to Remember. We initiated the Run to Remember as a way of drawing attention to and honoring the contributions veterans have and continue to make on behalf of our nation. Participating in this year's events are teams from JROTC cadets from Dunbar and South Fort Myers JROTC programs. In addition to the JROTC cadets, Dr. Atkins is running with the teams. The teams are carrying the POW slash MIA flag that will be posted in the atrium momentarily. We hope that the Run to Remember will continue to grow in coming years to include a greater number of runners from several schools and community organizations. Please join me in welcoming the Run to Remember teams to our ceremony. the POW slash MIA flag alongside the U.S. and the superintendent's flags. At this time, please stand for the presentation of our national colors by the Cadet Honor Guard from Mariner High School, Jero TC, and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by Cadet Kaylee Myers from Cape Coral High School, Jero TC.
be seated. Please direct your attention to the center of the atrium for an exhibition drill performance by cadets from Cape Coral JROTC. And now it's my special pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, the Executive Director of Leadership Development, Mr. Clayton Simmons. A more detailed biography of Mr. Simmons is on the back of today's program. Good morning, everyone. That's a, that's a tough act to follow. That was those those are amazing cadets, and that's very hard to do, so good, awesome for them. Good morning, everyone. I am honored to speak to you this morning in, for the annual Lee County Public Education Center Veterans Recognition Ceremony. I would first like to thank the board and Dr. Adkins for their continued, continued support of our veterans. I would also like to thank Colonel Madigan and Colonel Zakovich for considering me as a speaker. I would also like to take a moment to recognize our amazing JROTC cadets. And at this time, would all veterans here please raise your hand? Please give our honored guests and veterans in ROTC a round of applause. Veterans Day was originally known as Armistice Day, which signified the end of fighting of World War I. 
That's when the Allies and Germany put into effect an armistice on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, which was November 11th. After World War II and the Korean War, many veterans service organizations urged Congress to change the name, and that's when it became Veterans Day effective, June 1, 1954. I am proud to have had the opportunity to serve my country and can continue the legacy of military service in my family. My father, Clay Simmons, served as an aircraft maintenance and munition officer in the 355th Tactical Fighter Squadron in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. After, after active duty, my father continued to serve the Air Force Reserve until he retired as a lieutenant colonel. My grandfather, Joseph Simmons, served in General Patton's Tank Corps during World War II and in the occupation of Japan after the war. He then re-enlisted in the Air Force, where he served 23 years in his Strategic Missile Command, achieving the rank of Chief Warrant Officer, and he died while on active duty. My grandfather, Phil Kinsey, served during World War II in the Army Air Corps as a fighter and pilot instructor. He trained British Royal Air Force aviators at Carlstrom Field in Arcadia, Florida. The British had to send their pilots here to be trained by the U.S because they would be shot down if they were trained in Germany. And me, after two highly unsuccessful attempts at the University of Florida, <laughs> and my parents cutting off my funds, I enlisted in the U.S. Navy aboard the aircraft carrier USS John F. Kennedy. I had the opportunity to go on a six-month cruise, Mediterranean cruise, <laughs> yeah, and had the unique experience of landing on an aircraft carrier or catching the wire as, as it is called. During my time in the Navy, I was able to visit Spain, Italy, Tunisia, Egypt, Israel, Greece, Turkey, and France, all before turning 21. But what was most important, I was part of something bigger than myself. In 1988, it was my ship, the, the USS John F. Kennedy, that launched two F-14 Tomcat fighters that shot down two Libyan MiG fighters who were approaching our ship. Coincidentally, those were the exact same jets portrayed in the movie Top Gun. I look back at my time in the Navy and now realize it made me grow up and went a long way in shaping me to the person I am today. I took full advantage of the GI Bill, and my last check from the government arrived the same month I graduated from the University of South Florida and became a teacher here in Lee County. I am very thankful that I was able to graduate debt-free. I have so much respect for the brave men and women who have sacrificed so much and are currently serving our country all over the world. And I also feel grateful to share a common language and camaraderie with those that served in the past. I have worked hard to instill patriotic values in my adult sons and my nine-year-old daughter. It gives me great pride every time she sees a serviceman or woman in uniform or a veteran proudly wearing a hat signifying their service, she always says, thank you for your service. On November 11th, please join me in thanking our veterans for their service. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. If all veterans here with us today will come forward to be recognized. will be presented with a spe special memento of today's ceremony as a thank you for their service to our nation.
Please join me in a round of applause for our veterans. If you are looking for something to do this holiday weekend, the City of Fort Myers will host their Veterans Day Parade beginning at 1 p.m. On Monday morning at 11 a.m., over 500 JRTC cadets will march in the Cape Coral Veterans Day Parade, forming the largest single contingent participating. Please take some time on Monday, 11 November, to thank a veteran for their service and talk to them, listen to their story, or attend one of the many veteran services taking place in our community. This concludes today's recognition. Thank you all for coming.